Oh yeah, in today's episode, we'll be taking a look at Knott's Berry Farm's dining plan. I'll be showing you the difference between all three of them and their prices. Plus, we'll be going to all 14 food locations and I'll show you the foods that are available on the dining plan. Let's get this show on the road. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the dining plans. Now there are three separate dining plans. The first dining plan is the all day dining plan that you can get for $33.39. The second one is going to be the premium all-day dining plan, which you can get for $43.99. And the last one is the 2024 all-season dining, which you can get for $159. Now, what's the difference between them? Let's check that out. Now, on the regular all-day dining, with all all-day dining, you'll never go hungry and you'll save a bundle all day long. Enjoy an entree and a side at any of the 16 part participating locations throughout Knott's Berry Farm and Soak City. Now, Knott's Berry Farm has 14 locations when Soak City has two. Now, you'll be able to get a meal every 90 minutes for your entire stay. So, you get one meal, 90 minutes after that, you're able to get another one. Now the huge difference between the premium all day dining and the regular all day dining is $10. What comes with that upcharge is what I think makes the premium dining plan a better choice than the regular dining. Now for that $10 extra, you get a drink wristband, which allows you to get a drink every 15 minutes. And if you do not want to get an entree inside for one of your 90 minutes, you are able to get a snack at certain locations instead of a meal. And I'll show you some examples of those snacks. Now here is an example of some sides that you can get if you do get the premium dining plan. Here at the ice cream shop, you can get an ice cream cone or a waffle cone or you can snag one of their famous cookie witches. Here at the churro factory, you can grab yourself a fresh hand-pressed churro. Now those are some examples of snacks that you can get if you do purchase the premium dining plan. But keep your eye out because other food establishments here have other options. Like I know you can get some french fries at some food establishments. Oh, and at the popcorn wagon, I believe you can get some popcorn and some cotton candy. Now the last dining option is only available for pass holders and that's going to be the 2020 all season dining plan which you can grab for $159. Now, if you are a gold member or a prestige member, you're able to use this dining plan at Soak City. But if you're a regular pass holder and you have this dining plan, you can only use it at the 14 locations here and not to Berry Farm. Now, I do love this option because I've been a pass holder for a long time and I use it. Now, one thing with this option, every visit that you do come to Knott's Berry Farm, you can get two meals on that visit. Now, now in between those meals, there is a four window wait time that you do have to wait between your first meal and your second meal. But still bro, $159 for all the season. I'm telling you, this option right here pays for itself within the first couple of months. Now, if you are visiting for a day with multiple people, I can recommend getting the all day dining plan or the premium all day dining plan, depending on what your budget is and what you're looking for. But I would have to say, if you are coming here and you're grabbing a single day dining plan, for sure pay the extra $10 if you do have it. Get the premium all day dining plan. Were you able to get a drink, an entree, and one side, or a snack if you don't want to get an entree or side for one of your 90 minutes? Now that you know the differences and the price points, let me go ahead and show you the 14 locations inside Knott's Berry Farm that you can use this dining plan. Now before I show you all 14 locations inside here at Knott's Berry Farm, there's something to keep in mind. Now during the off season of Knott's Berry Farm, some of these locations will not be open Monday through Thursdays. They're only open Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays because it does get pretty slow on the off season here at Knott's Berry Farm. Now, now, that, now that you guys know that, let's start off in Ghost Town. 
to the left of the wagon camp. One thing that's cool that the wagon camp right now is having a show, but they do have Calico Tater Bites. And here's a prime example of what I was talking about a little earlier. Calico Tater Bites is not open today. Come visit us Saturdays and Sundays. So when it is open here, you can get a barbecue pulled pork tater tot, a buffalo chicken tater tot, and a pastrami tot. Now you will see these symbols right here. Now throughout every single restaurant that we're about to show you, when you do see this symbol, you are able to get that food item if you do have one of the dining plans that I did show you earlier. Now to the left of this is going to be a Sutter's Pizza. Once again, Sutter's Pizza right here, this place isn't open. You usually see this place open, like I said, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays because those are the busiest. But here, you're able to get a slice of pizza and a side of salad. Now, when they do have pizzas here, usually they have pepperoni, you have some cheese, they got some meat lovers, some veggies, and every once in a while, you'll be able to find a margarita pizza. Now, the next restaurant we'll be taking a look at is here at Sutter's Fine Family Fair. And at this location on the dining plan, you can get the chicken tender basket, a burger barbecue bas basket, which I like, a cheeseburger basket, a buffalo breaded chicken sandwich that is pretty spicy, and a pretty delicious barbecue chicken salad. We'll head down Main Street in a little bit, but let's head down this way to our next destination. Now a couple of plus size about having the dining plan right behind me as we pass the bakery. If you were here early enough, they have some breakfast burritos that you can snag. And during special events as the peanut celebration, the boysenberry festival, um, not scary farm and merry farm, on the dining plan, they actually have specialty foods that you can try. Tucked away in this corner is a gold mine of a find, and that's Mac and Miner Spuds. Now, same thing at this location during the off season. There just isn't that much traffic in Knott's Berry Farm for Knott's Berry Farm to actually open this location up. So please come back and visit us Friday through Sunday from 12 p.m to 8 p.m. This is a spot that you for sure want to stop by if you have the dining plan, dude. You can get a chili and cheese loaded potato or a mac and cheese bowl. You get a pulled pork, a buffalo chicken, or a regular mac and cheese. Now the chili cheese is just a uh, house chili, Fritos, shredded cheese, sour cream, green onions. Pulled pork is pulled pork, tangy coleslaw, diced garlic pickles, French onion strings, buffalo chicken, uh, tossed chicken buffalo sauce, ranch dressing, onion strings, and then mac and cheese. A mac and cheese topped with shredded cheese, sour cream, bacon bites, and green onions. I have tried both the bread bowl and the potato. I do like the potato more because of the portion size, dude. The portion size of those potatoes is huge. I am guarantee you, dude, you can never go wrong with a potato at that spuds. Those kids were screaming, bro. I'm telling you, it took me everything in my willpower to keep going on that one sentence without breaking it. One take, baby, one take. Now let's head down Main Street, but as we make our way down there, let's enjoy the sights and sounds. Our next stop and that's Fireman's Brigade and this has been a controversial area here lately due to the dining plan. Now the controversy comes after they took our quarter chicken and ribs off. Actually you can't get a quarter chicken and ribs on the menu at all but 
On the dining plan, you can get a quarter chicken, which is kind of measly. I got that before, but it's still good. They have a pulled pork sandwich. Prior to the pulled pork sandwich, we did have a brisket sandwich that was excellent. They have a smoked turkey leg, a spiced sausage on a bun, and a jumbo all beef hot dog. Now, ever since the change to Fireman's Brigade, it has have had a sad decline because of the menu option now. I mean, that used to be my second go-to spot. Now I don't really care going there at all. But we have seen in the past of Knott's Berry Farm that they have changed menus like they did uh, at the Boardwalk Barbecue when they did have the flank steak. Then they took it away for a couple of years, and now we can get it back again. So maybe, you know, we'll be able to see our old menu pop up, and we'll be able to get a quarter chicken and ribs again. But the next spot we're about to go to, as you guys all know, I actually honestly don't care for, but maybe if you're a hot dog fan, maybe you'll like this spot. And the spot I was referring to is here at Wilderness Broiler. Well, at Wilderness Broiler, you are able to get hot dogs, like I did say. I'm just not a big fan of uh, the, the new Wilderness Broiler. Or it's Wilderness Dogs. I'm sorry, it's not Wilderness Broiler. It's Wilderness Dogs. So, yeah, if you like hot dogs, go ahead, come here. I do have a video of where I have tried hot dogs. I'll link those down below if you're interested in seeing the kind of food that they have here at Wilderness Dog. There are two final food locations here in Ghost Town. We have to cross the train tracks to get to them. And we gotta pass the Calico Mine Company. And if you can see off in the dare in the distance, folks, Panda Express is one of your options. Now, I would have to say, having Panda Express on the dining plan ups it just a little more. I think it's worth it because Panda Express. And I would have to say, probably 80% of the pass holders here, this is their go-to. And in the dining plan here, you're able to get a one side and one entree. And the final area here in Ghost Town is strictly on a stick. And at Strictly on a Stick, you can get a hand-dipped corn dog basket, or you can get a corn dog bite basket. And if you do have the premium dining plan, as you can see that S right there, you can grab some shoestring fries if you don't want to get a full-on meal. But come to think about it, both of these corn dogs actually do come with french fries. So the better option for me there, instead of using your snack plan, if you do have the premium dining plan, I would just get the corn dog because it comes with fries anyways. Before we carry on to the boardwalk area, I do have the all season dining and decided to pick up some teriyaki and rice that you can get on your dining plan and just look at the portion size, bro. They stack on the rice, and they really did not chintz on the teriyaki. Now, this is one upside of having the dining plan. Dude, Panda Express all the time? Yes. Earlier in the restaurant, I did say you can choose one entree and one side, but you don't only have to get rice. You can also get chow mein and vegetables. And you just don't have to get a teriyaki chicken. You can get beef and broccoli, orange chicken, and some other meats they have. Now I do believe the shrimp, walnut, and some other meats that they might have might be an upcharge, so definitely check with one of the workers before ordering some of those items. Now don't forget, if you do have the all season dining plan, you are allotted two meals each visit when you come here to the farm. Now that we got our first meal, there is a four hour window till we can get our next one. And since we are in the off season, Knott's Berry Farm, Monday through Thursdays, opens from 11 to 6. So we'll be able to squeeze one more meal in before the end of the day. So review time on Panda Express. Honestly, you can't go wrong with Panda Express. The teriyaki and rice on the dining plan is easily going to get a 7 out of 10. Now that we're done eating, let's head off to the boardwalk area. 
And first up in the boardwalk area, well, I mean, slash Roaring Twenties area, they have a prop shop pizzeria and Italian kitchen. So on the dining plan here, you get a slice served with one garlic stick or a side salad on the dining plan. Now they do have multiple pizzas out. They have a specialty one there. They have a meat lovers, but they have a pasta bar. I do love the pasta bar here. So you can get a pasta bowl. And the step here is you get you pick between a penne or a regular spaghetti. You get to choose your sauce, which is a beef bogolanese, a plant-based bogolanese, an alfredo or marinara. And you get your toppings, a grilled chicken or Italian meatballs, which you get four pieces, or roasted veggies. Let's come over here. You can also get a classic salad, which is a hand-tossed Caesar salad. Fresh romaine tossed with croutons, parmesan cheese, Caesar dressing topped with grilled chicken. Now they have these here, which is an Italian salad, an antipesto salad, and a hal pasta, which are these that you can find already made up or ready to go for you right here. Now in all honesty, I wasn't really looking forward to Prop Shop Pizzeria when it first opened up. And I didn't eat there for like the first maybe like four or five months. It was just for me like, every other pizza here in Knott's Berry Farm, but I was wrong about the pasta. I will tell you, dude, if you do have the dining plan, do yeah. definitely check out the pasta bowl. Get the Alfredo with pasta and chicken, dude. The chicken Alfredo bowl is on point. Now it's time to make our way through the main part of the boardwalk area. And check out the spot for burgers here at Knott's Berry Farm, and that's at Coaster's Drive-In. And here is the menu at Coaster's if you have the dining plan. They have a chicken cob that you can get. And here is the dinner platter. You get to choose one entree and one side. They have chicken tenders. You have a Coaster hamburger. You have a Coaster cheeseburger, a jumbo hot dog, and a chicken tender basket. At the very bottom, you see they got a chili cheese dog basket, and I really do like their chili cheese fries that they have. Now, one good thing about grabbing a burger when you're at Coasters, at some of the other locations, like at Sutter's, or later on in the video, as you will see, at Grizzly Lodge, their burgers only have one patty. Coasters, though, has a double patty on their hamburger. But now is for my number one spot here for portion size at Knott's Berry Farm. And that's Boardwalk Barbecue. This is my go-to spot when I'm here and I'm gonna eat on the dining plan. You're able to get a barbecue platter. Now that barbecue platter is a choice of an entree, a choice of a side, and you get a cornbread. For the kids, dude, this is an awesome choice. They got a mac and cheese bowl with barbecue entree toppings. Your choice of three cheese mac and cheese. They also have a beef tri-tip. Now, on the opposite end, you got some salads. Now you can choose uh, two different salads. They have the chef chicken salad and the gourmet berry salad. Now I'm gonna be dead honest with you guys right now. That place is always my go-to spot. And I was about to show you guys the foods, but I've never seen the foods like that there at Boardwalk Barbecue. It seemed like they had some leftover turkey, some tri-tip, uh, they had the boysenberry meatballs, and they had chicken tenders. I've never seen that place have chicken tenders before, and they only had two different sides. They had uh, a potato and macaroni. Usually they have maybe like four different sides. So, um, I mean, during the slow season, it, we might get what we get over there. But uh, off to Fiesta Village. Now there are three spots to eat here in Fiesta Village, but there's only two spots that you can use your dining plan on. The first spot is Casa California, and let me tell you bro, this is probably the best spot here in Knott's Berry Farm to use your dining plan on. Now at Casa California, you can choose between a burrito or a bowl on the dining plan. Now the only thing is, if you do want to get the carne asada, that meat is not covered on the dining plan. 
It's actually going to be a $2 and $50 upcharge, but the chicken adobo is on the dining plan. The carnitas is, the beef barbacoa, which I love, the chorizo, and the veggies. Now, you get toppings, cilantro, lime rice, or brown rice. Then you get to choose pinto or black beans, queso, salsa, cheeses, and lettuce. Like I said just earlier, dining plan option for all but carne asada. This is a $2 upcharge. Sorry, $2 upcharge, not a $2.50 upcharge. And the second spot here in Fiesta Village is Papa's Mexicana. At Papa's Mexicana's, you can get a variety of different french fries. They have a chicken tinga fries, they have carnita chili verde fries, they have elote fries, nacho fries, chili cheese fries, and they have a cojita garlic butter fry. And the third food location here in Fiesta Village is the Baja Taqueria. Now, unfortunately, at the time, there are no available foods at the Baja Taqueria that are on the dining plan. But they have a birria taco, a blackened mahi-mahi, which I tried, which is pretty good. They have a battered fish taco and a Baja shrimp taco. They have those corn. I don't want to massacre it, the word in front of the classic Fiesta and Caliente, so we'll just go with corn. You can choose those three there, too. Now, I'm interested to see in 2024 if they actually bring some of these items onto the dining plan because they've done it in the past before. I remember there was a point in time when Panda Express wasn't on the dining plan and then they bought Panda Express on. So, I mean, in 2024, we can see Baja Taqueria possibly coming on the dining plan and rumors from last year was is that Johnny Rockets possibly was going to come to the dining plan. Now it's time to exit Fiesta Village and enter Camp Snoopy. As you can see, there is a lot of work going on here in Camp Snoopy because it is being transformed, but there are some rides that are still open. And the very last location that you can use the dining plan here at Knott's Berry Farm is at Grizzly Creek Lodge. And at the moment, it looks like Grizzly Creek Lodge isn't open. I knew Camp Snoopy was getting refurbishment, but I did not know Grizzly Creek Lodge was. Now the Grizzly Lodge menu leans more toward kids when you have burgers, fries, chicken tenders. Now for adults, they do have a grilled chicken sandwich and they do have a salad. But since we see it's under renovations, when it comes back, the menu might be totally different. So I'm looking forward to that. And that concludes this video. Now I'm interested in knowing what every single one of you at home think about the dining plan. Will you be purchasing it in the 2024 season? Go ahead and comment down below. Now here are my thoughts about the dining plan. I am a frequent flyer here at the farm. I think that the 2024 season dining plan is worth $159. I come here multiple times a week, so for me, within the first two months, it's for sure going to be paid off for. Even if you come here multiple times a month, by summertime, that $159 will be fully paid for because most of these items, as you saw, standalone are the price range is it between $13 to more the high end like we saw at Fireman's Brigade with $21 on the ribs. Now, if you aren't a frequent fire like some of us that are closer to the park, but you are a pass holder, maybe the all season dining pass isn't for you. Maybe a better option would be the all day premium dining plan. Maybe that's the route you wanna go with the 90 minute window in between if you come every couple of months or maybe a couple of times a year. Now I will say if you do plan on coming for a one day visit, definitely go ahead and check out the premium all day dining plan. That's the one for $43.99. You get a meal and a side, plus a drink wristband. And like I said earlier, if you don't want to use one of those meals because you're just too stuffed, 
you can get some of those snacks like I showed you before. And that's going to be it for this video. Now, if you learned something or liked the video, go ahead and go down below and give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and go down below and subscribe, dude, because this 2024 season is going to be rocking. Now, I really appreciate every single one of you taking time out of your day to join me for this Knott's Berry Farm video. Well, every single one of you guys have an excellent day, and I will catch you next video. Deuces! Deuces.